I mentioned a bunch of stuff in the last episode and now is the time to act on them. As you can see, I put back the pots in the ground because I needed the space under the alfresco. So in this case, I'm going to work with the easy to reach parts first and right at the very edge is this afterglow. As noted in the previous video, this afterglow has already fallen over and I think that the stem is long enough that I might have to reset it now. This is the stump of the afterglow that I just chopped. As you can see, there's a pop growing at the base. And you might also be able to see this tiny bud along the stem. So currently, there are at least two pops growing out of this stem. As for the flower stalks, I'm going to take a chance and see if I can propagate from them. I'm going to take off all of, all of the leaves. I don't usually get success from them, but you know, it's free to try. And as for the stock, I'm going to plant this in the ground or in one of my pots. Hopefully something grows there as well. And as for this huge afterglow rosette, I'm, I'm going to set it somewhere dry for now. And wait a few weeks until it starts growing some roots. What I normally do is to wait all the way until it grows roots before I move it to soil. But this time what I'm thinking of doing is just to wait one week. So just to ensure that the stump is dry, then put it, then plant it in a pot with soil. That might stimulate it to start growing sooner, because it's still their growing season now, and I, I don't want to waste any time. You might be wondering why I chop off the flower stalks from the afterglow, and my reason for this is simply because I want the I want the rosette to focus all of the growth on its roots. Otherwise, if I left the flower stalks intact, the growth energy would be split between root production and seed production. So I'm done plucking all of the leaves from the flower stalks, leaving them bare. And all I have to do with these stalks is to just stick them in soil. As for this tray, I'm going to leave this somewhere away from direct sunlight, so somewhere in the shelf. As for the leaves, I'm just going to lay them in my propagation trays together with the rest of my propagations. And here are the afterglow flowers. Hopefully I would get some success growing some pops out of it. Now that there's a gap here, I would need to replace the spot where the afterglow used to be with another echeveria. And since this row is about frillies, I think it would make sense if I add another frilly in here. 
and for that I thought why not the Tori Having done the afterglow, I would also need to do the same for my barbellion. I would need to repeat all of those steps on this barbellion and in its place, I'll be using a Paul Bunyan. It's yet another carunculated cultivar. There's a huge size parity between the Barbellion and the Paul Bunyan but then again this Paul Bunyan is a young specimen in time it will grow large enough but I guess it depends on how quickly my Barbellion will bounce back to health because I'm still really keen on using the Barbellion at the back The next thing that I want to do is to replace one of these Agavoidi spots with the Romeo there's a couple of duplicates here and that's a Lemaire here and the Lemaire over there. I'm going to keep this one which means that I'm going to remove that one but I want the Romeo to be front and center so I'm thinking of moving this and swapping it with that pot over there and place the Romeo in this area.
I think that's enough carnage for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my socials at Seriscapades at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For my next episodes, I'll be working on other parts of the garden. Maybe do a bit of rearranging and as well as doing some health checks against some of the plants. Because seeing the rotting imbricata just sent an alarm in my head. But my initial inspection seemed to show that the, the damage is local to the area. So I don't think anything else is affected. But I'll know for sure once I pull it out. So I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.